Hi, Mark here from Connected Healthcare New Zealand, another video in the series for the Mindray SV800 ventilator. This video is about going from non-invasive ventilation into invasive ment ventilation, setting your mode, your basic settings, your patient data, your tube size, and potentially a psi function as well. When we're ready to intubate, we can put the ventilator onto standby, and we can adjust the settings in standby. So we'll put it on standby, Okay, so while the patient is being intubated, we can choose, we're gonna have the last patient and we can touch on the patient parameter here. It is the same patient with a male of 174 centimeters, but we're gonna change from non-invasive ventilation to invasive. So we're gonna pop that button there, invasive. And this symbol here, when we start up, is gonna change from the mask to the ET tube. So let's go OK for that one. With the tube here, if we touch that tube, the automatic tube resistance compensation, ATRC, is disabled by default. So let's choose an ET tube of 7.5. And there's also a tracky tube option there as well. Push OK. The next thing is to choose which mode we're going to use. So at the moment we're still in pressure support ventilation, CPAP with pressure support. Along the bottom you've got other modes available. Let's go with the volume mode for now. Let's go for volume assist control. We've got some settings here, FiO2, percentage oxygen, tidal volume. Let's hit the tidal volume and as soon as you highlight that key, it'll give you some extra information. For example, if you're, if you're running at 500 mils per tidal volume, then you'll have a minute volume of six liters per minute. So let's move that down to 480. And we'll have a minute volume of 5.76 liters now. There you go. Uh, a frequency, we can change that. It'll talk about the IE ratio. If we're looking at the I time, it'll give you the IE ratio, expiratory time, etc. So there's some extra information when you choose some of these parameters. So that's the basic settings on the left hand side, that left tab. On the right hand side, we've got another option here. In this case, it's Psi. So we can turn the Psi on. We've got three settings for Psi. How often you get a Psi, the increased level of PEEP when you do, and how many cycles, how many breath cycles you do for that increased PEEP. So with Psi, it's a way of having, preventing pulmonary collapse, a way of opening up the airways just every so often, and that's kind of once per minute. There'll be three breaths with an increased PEEP of five. So I'm gonna change that PEEP down to four. And if we push OK, you'll see up here, it's volume assist control with Psi. So let's briefly recap before we start the intubation. We've gone through to the patient information area and we've changed things from non-invasive to invasive. We've gone to tube resistance compensation and we've put that into use with the ET tube of 7.5. And we've gone into the mode, giving it the basic settings as well as a psi function in this case as well. So we're good to go. At the moment we're still in standby, patient not ventilated, but as soon as we push the blue button we can start ventilation.